Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Freako, Geeko, Weirdo, Worldwide Weird, and everything of that nature right there, bro. Now, I want to say this, bro. I instantly knew something was wrong with this guy. The first time I saw one of his videos, the energy he had, the questions, the way that he was moving around, he does not fit in. I can clearly tell he's not from this culture, this environment, and this lifestyle. So why are you out here with this camera helping these niggas incriminating themselves? Yes, them niggas are incriminating themselves. They have to take accountability, but you most definitely are assisting them with it, with the recording and the uploading of this activity. It is what it is. So... I dropped some videos. I had to remove those from YouTube because I called homie a term and we'll get down through here in a second. But I called homie a term that he technically is not because in the state of Georgia, the age of 16, it is consensual. You are consenting at the age of 16 in Georgia. Some states are 18. So in certain states with these sex charges that he had, he would be a registered sex offender. That is what it is. There were several YouTubers exposing this, smaller YouTubers exposing it, but they didn't have the traction. They don't have the reputation. People overlook it. It's a numbers game. Like I said before, several YouTubers were doing it. Some smaller ones all outside the country. I first caught major wind of it through Alex Alonzo on his Instagram page. He then started addressing it. Uh, there's another YouTuber out of Cali, uh, Milk, the white guy. He was exposing it. Saw that video. Then what really got the shit cracking and popped off and turned all the way up and popping was, hey, man, went out there. He got greedy. Went out there to New York. Everything that's done like this, this this dishonorable situation, went out there with China Mac. China Mac did business. China Mac did what he was supposed to do. Hey, nigga. Man, I got a popping YouTube channel, nigga. I'm trying to work. Shit, nigga, pop out. Let's work. Pop out. Let's work. That's what you do in business. Just like a producer that sends beats. Just like a lawn man who cuts your grass. Anybody you engage in business with or doing a transaction with, you're not doing a full-fledged background research on That's not life. It's motherfuckers you work with at your job that got these type of things on their jacket. But he did what he did with them. He then found out. Now... It's on you to move how you gonna move and make your decision on what side of the fence you on. China Mac instantly stood firm, tall, and respectable and honorable. Nah, I'm denouncing this. Take my video down. You got sex charges on you. 27 year old messing with a 17 year old. I think China Mac might have had the numbers wrong at first, but still, whatever. Uh, this guy actually was pursuing law enforcement. Dedicated his time and his life into pursuing laws and uh law uh law enforcement. Proud loss prevention guy at the mall, meaning he was the or or wherever he worked at, he was the over excessive mall cop or whatever, or parking lot attendant and security guard. He one of them, the one that got you know, he got his license to carry his gun as that. Went through all these training courses to be a cop. This who y'all got coming to y'all block though. Y'all ain't see nothing off about the nigga. Y'all ain't see how the nigga wasn't right, but I get it, though, because we in this world was C-L-O-U-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T. Goddamn clout. With the 30 million explanation points, niggas is willing to die about it, go to jail about it, sacrifice morals, values, and principles about it for that chance to get that clout. Because to get on Miko Worldwide platform, this channel that's getting all these views and that's growing up, you ain't got to be a good rapper. You ain't got to have nothing going on. You ain't even have to really been putting in no work, shooting no music videos or nothing. Of course he going to try to be tricky and try to tie it in to rap. Bro, you don't run a music platform, my nigga. That's not why people is coming to your channel to find rappers, and you know that. And niggas defending that, trying to make that a thing, shut y'all ass up. You not going to piss on Big N and tell me it's raining, my nigga. I been knew the nigga was off. Even down to the lawyer video, I clicked that for a little bit. Saw what it was the setup was, man. Let me get the fuck off this shit. Why waste my time watching this nonsense? Y'all defending this nigga that pulled up to the to the parade or the block of the people from the LGBTQ community or that lifestyle harassing them. They don't rock with the nigga. 
talking about he gonna kill niggas. I'm scared of this boy, man. I'm scared of this nigga. This nigga dangerous. Nigga, you got niggas in the streets co-signing you, backing you from gangs, and you is a full-fledged, enthusiastic wannabe cop to the point that you got a charge on your record. Look it up. It's out there. Everything public information. 1090 Jake, make it easy for you. Go watch his video. All documented. This thing got a charge of impersonating a police officer. Identity crisis, crisis freako. Like I said before, put identity crisis on that nigga description. So you want to pursue being a cop for years and years. Did all these jobs, training, marathons with the police and all that. Got the real training to be a cop. But now you want to pull up to the hood and fuck with the street niggas in the culture. And you online, 27 years old, busting up boys' backs. Got them bleeding from they raked them. Documented. Dropping them off at his house with a bloody asshole, blood all over the hotel room. The police pull up to your house about it the next day. After the mama go say, hey man, they didn't rape my son, basically, or the accusations of sodomizing my son. You then flee the country. What type of nigga is, a, if you innocent on busting up a nigga asshole consensually, which, hey, my nigga, like I say, you can put your moral values where you want to place them at on whatever age you want to. I'm not going to tell you to live like me, but I live how I live and where I stand at. I've been 27 before and I've been 17 before. Ain't no way in hell no 27-year-old supposed to be trying to pursue going picking up no 17-year-old with another 22-year-old nigga and y'all finna go bust up his back together. That's some weird old shit. Un inexcusable to me. I can't stand next to no nigga like that. But these other niggas obviously can because some of these niggas know about it, but they can't let that, what I told y'all about, take it from the spokesperson, man. I'm not here to go and research niggas' government names and I don't do that. Some people do that. That's their lane. That's how they do their stuff. But I speak about what's public. I'm a spokesman, man. I'm a spokesperson. Big speaker. Big spokesman, nigga. I'm going to let y'all know about what's already out there factual. Where I stand in it and how do we gauge and how do we move on from here as a culture, a people, a lifestyle. So this is what's going on. We got street niggas now standing next to this nigga. Co-signing him still after seeing any type of weirdo freako behavior behind his name. It's a dangerous place now. Niggas is gonna be in the comment section in this video defending this. Him trying to say he gonna kill niggas. I kill y'all New York niggas. Da -da 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 -da. At the <laughs> at the at the gay event. <laughs> we ain't got no problem with gay people, bro. Don't try to mix and confuse this. Don't try to mix and confuse your fuck up with the gay people because they ain't got nothing to do with you. They not like you, bro. All of them ain't predators. But y'all tell me we all stand with it, bro. Expedited, nigga. They brought the nigga back to America. He was on the run for two years. He took the Alfred plea, meaning he's acknowledging, hey, my nigga, y'all have enough evidence to find me as guilty for my sodomization charge. But I'll take this plea. He did a year and some change in jail on this, my nigga. This is what my opinion is, and somebody told me this on a live last night, and I kind of agree with him in this. This is my opinion on it. This is not a fact, but opinion. Allegedly, however you want to say it. He started doing the Atlanta hood vlogs because he's from Gwinnett right outside of it, a little bit out of Atlanta, not from Atlanta, from Gwinnett. But he's doing these vlogs because he's on probation and he can't leave out this country no more. Other than that, he would have never went to the hood vlogs. Man, y'all tell me what y'all think, bro. Y'all co-signing, busting up backs, taking boys, 27-year-old, getting a 17-year-old, getting them high, getting them on drugs, assisting him in this. Smoking some, all this other shit, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. 1,000. Stay on your people for shit show. This ain't about the deep, all that other shit. This about what y'all think on this. The spokesman, man. Stay on your people.